Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make repeating pattern swatches in Illustrator and perhaps more importantly, export those swatches to use in Spoonflower. Before we get started with this video tutorial, I want to be clear about what I'm going to cover in the tutorial. I'm not going to do a lot of work on the pattern making tool in Illustrator because I have a heap of other videos that teach how to make patterns in Illustrator. But what I want to do is to show you quickly how to make a repeating pattern and how to get it to Spoonflower because there is one video currently available on YouTube that shows you how to do this, but it's an extremely convoluted process and it involves taking the swatch from Illustrator to Photoshop and then making a repeating pattern swatch from it. And it's just really total nonsense in terms of what you can do in Illustrator and what you should be doing in Illustrator because you can do it all here and it's way, way quicker, way, way easier and it makes a whole lot more sense. So having found that video and watched it, I've now worked out a much better way of doing this all done in Illustrator, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're just going to do a pattern and get it up to Spoonflower, but look out for more of my video tutorials because I have a heap of them in creating patterns. And of course, those patterns are going to work exactly the same way as the pattern we're creating today. And you'll be able to put them together and get them to Spoonflower in one step out of Illustrator. Now for my pattern, I'm just going to create a very simple pattern. So I'm going to choose File New. I'm just going to use a 200 by 200 pixel image for now. I like to have my images a little bit floating, so let's just float that. And I'm going to start by drawing a circle because that's going to be the basis of my pattern. Let's just press Control-0 to center up the artboard. I'm going to select the Ellipse tool and I'm going to drag out a circle by holding the shift key as I drag out the circle. I'm going to fill this with a color and turn the stroke off. So this is going to be the beginning of my pattern piece. I'm going to select this. I'm going to choose object and then pattern and then make. So I'm just going to click OK because a new piece of pattern has been added to my swatch. Now, this is not looking particularly attractive right now. I do want to use grid, but I want this to be separated quite a ways apart. So just holding the shift and up arrow key to move this pattern out quite a bit. And now what I want to do is go to this and I want to copy it. So I'm going to choose Edit Copy, Edit Paste in Place. And I'm going to recolor this. So I'm going to color this a sort of pale pink or pale blue color. Apparently that's blue. I'm going to move it into position up into the top corner here of my pattern. What that does is creates a repeating pattern that has alternate colors. Pretty happy with that right now, so I'm just going to click Done. And now I have a pattern in my pattern swatch that is this pattern that I just created. So I'm going to delete that and let's just go and test the swatch so we can see how it's working. So I have a rectangle here. I'm just going to click to fill it with my pattern swatch. And then so we can see things more clearly, object, transform, scale. Just going to reduce the scale of the pattern, but not the object itself. So let's go in here and shift down arrow. And you can see that this is now my repeating pattern. Let's just click OK. So this is what I want to take to Spoonflower. So I'm just going to delete this because right now that's not what we want. Right now what we want is what's over here. I'm going to drag this new pattern swatch out of the pattern swatch and into Illustrator. We're going to have a look and see what we've got. What we've got is a pink circle in the middle and we've got four gray circles all around and there's a sort of selection around the whole shape and one around slightly inside it. Now it's this inside one we're really interested in because this is marking out the actual repeat pattern swatch. If we take all of what we're seeing here, this is not going to repeat properly anywhere. So it's the bit in the middle that we need. So first of all, I'm going to open up my layers palette. So I've got my layers palette here. I'm just going to open everything up so that I can see these shapes here. And it's this one, it's this path here that I'm most interested in. So I'm going to select it and you can see that it is the path that is selected. 
Now, having selected that and having its little blue box selected there, if I now go to the Artboard tool and double click on it, I'll get the Artboard options. And what I want to do is I want to fit the Artboard to Selected Art. And because I have that rectangle there selected, then the Artboard is going to be fitted to that. I'm going to click OK. OK, so now I have an artboard that in actual fact now shows my repeating pattern. And I'm ready to take this out of Illustrator and take it straight to Spoonflower. So I'm going to choose File. Now I can do this two ways. I can choose Save for Web or I could choose Export. I'm going to choose Export first of all, just to show you how you do it if you export it. So I'm in an Illustrator Images file here. So I'm just going to export this as a ping image. So I'm selecting ping and you can see here that it says use artboards. Well, yes, we have to use artboards because otherwise this export tool is going to export the whole image and we don't want to. So we just want artboard one. So use artboards, range one, click export. Now Illustrator is going to be really happy to send exactly what we asked for out as a ping file. So I can choose a medium 150 ppi image because that's really good sizing and DPI for spoon flower. I don't want it to be optimized at all. I want my background at this point. I can choose a white background. That's very nice and I'll click OK. So that image has now been exported out of Illustrator in a format that we can use in spoon flower. Unfortunately, I forgot to see what I, I titled it. I think I titled it Untitled 3. But let's go and see how you'd use the web option. I'll choose File, Save for Web. OK, so here what we need to do is to select Ping. And I'm just going to select Ping 8. And I need to set my width and height. Now, this is pretty critical for Spoonflower because Spoonflower wants it at 150 ppi. So if I wanted this to repeat, say, over 2 inches, then I'll need to make sure that this is a 2 inch swatch at 150 dpi, which means I need it to be 300 by 300. So I'm going to make it 300 by 300. It's just scaled up, but since it's vector art, that doesn't matter. So now I'm just going to click Save. And now I can give it a file name. So I'm going to put it in my Illustrator Pictures folder. That's going to make it a little bit easier for me to find. Here's the previous pattern. So this is going to be dots for Spoonflower. And it's a ping image. So just click Save. So now we're finished in Illustrator. Let's go to Spoonflower and see how this looks when it arrives in Spoonflower. Here I am logged into my Spoonflower account. So I'm going to click Create and choose Custom Fabric because that's what I want to create. I need to click to choose my file. So I'm going to my Illustrator Images. I'm just going to go and find my ping files. I'm going to click the one that I saved out for the web and click Open. I do own the rights to the image, so I'm going to click to upload the file. So here we are inside Spoonflower and the initial repeat that we've been offered is the repeat that we want. It's just a basic repeat. What Spoonflower has done is it's taken my little pattern swatch, which is very, very small, about two inches by two inches, and it's sized it and it will repeat it now as much as I need of this fabric. Now there are some other options here for half drop and half bricks, but they're not going to work with this particular pattern. Because we created the pattern swatch and because it is a fully repeating pattern swatch that will repeat inside Illustrator and also inside any other application, it's working as a repeat in Spoonflower. So that's as easy as it is to create a pattern in Illustrator to save it out as the pattern swatch that you need in Spoonflower. And you can do this with any pattern that you create in Illustrator. You don't need to take it to Photoshop and you don't need to create it into a repeat in Photoshop because Illustrator is doing all the work for you if you just know how to extract it from Illustrator. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel. And consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. 
and visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.